All right, so um, I'm back, and I've... Fairly well. Yeah, fairly well, indeed. Um, so the only thing that I've added uh, to the circuit since last this last video is a um, button press here. Um, I've brought that over to a 555 timer chip. Um, I'm using the 555 to actually trigger the button press. So the button needs to go low to ground. Um, and the 555 can actually sync current. So for its output pin, um, it's either going to be outputting or sourcing or syncing current, which is great because that allows us to directly do a button press with the 555. And since I have these 555s that are rated from 2 volts to 15 volts and this uh, circuit runs on 3, um, it's well within the range of the 555 to run it directly. So um, I'm able to power that off of the external circuit um, and I have a power switch that just basically cuts the whole thing off so it's not going to be drawing any power um, when it's not on. And so um, still functions the same with the one meg potentiometer and then I have um, a 22k resistor between ground and a 22k resistor between power and that signal which is why I'm using all three sides of the pot there. Um, and so yeah if I push the button like before Yeah, and so this LED is actually syncing to that button, so whenever that button goes low, um, the LED turns on as well. And I have that set up so that you can see the uh, the timing for the 555. So let's go ahead and turn on the 555. And I can change that timing. Make it faster. So, um, I also added in a photoresistor, which is amazing. Like, the sounds for the photoresistor are great. Um, and it does really well with both the the positive and the negative voltage going to the the timing pin. So um, the ultimate thing I'm going to do is have a three-way toggle switch with center off so that I can toggle between... <laughs> Very well. Um, so I can toggle between the power or the ground um, running through this photoresistor or leave it off if I want to. So to show that in effect... Um... Oop, knock my button off or switch off. So, yeah, it can be kind of finicky at times. Um, so, let's see. Yeah, when you can get the uh, photoresistor in a good spot, it's incredible. Um, but yeah, so the 555 allows me to change the timing of the circuit, like how often it's triggering. Um, I'll do a separate post on that because it's worth mentioning. Uh, the 555 is a really good chip. Um, it's been around for a long time. There's good documentation. I haven't seen anything documented about using it in circuit vending, so I'll put that online. Um, and yeah, that's it. Um, I think that those are the only exploits that I found with this. I didn't really um, play around with the voltage drain, but I don't need to at this point. I'm getting voltage drain-like sounds out of it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put everything in the original case, um, that creepy, creepy toy. Um, I'm going to probably use some friendly plastic to create a skeleton to, to protect some of the circuits when I'm done. I'll also make sure to draw up uh, full schematics for everything that I've done. Um, cause it just, it works extremely well. Um, yeah. And that should be it. Um, I'll hopefully post when I've got everything in the case.